Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Restaurant Table Booking App Video Series Part 17 and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to send the email notification using the SendGrid. And we're going to use the .NET 7 and we're going to integrate this with our existing API and we will see how this works. Come, let's get started. Alright, so this video is going to be the complete demo video. So stay tuned and stay until the end of the video. It will be worth it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to sendgrid.com. So what is sendgrid? Sendgrid is one of the, uh, you know, the biggest market uh, leader for sending emails, like marketing emails, sending SMS and all those things. They belong to Tulio. So this one, this company is also tied up with Azure. You can you can actually do these things. Uh, you can use their service through the Azure portal as well. But whatever we are going to do is all going to be free. So all what you have to do is go to this website and click on start for free. Right. So it's going to ask you to sign up. So before that, let's go and take a look at the pricing. So in the pricing, you can clearly see the first one is free. And what do we get in this free version? 100 emails per day forever. Very good, right? So they're going to give us, uh, you know, provision their endpoints to access and send emails and 100 emails per day. So if our application is small enough, like our applications, the demo application, I'm not using it for the real time uh, for the users, right? So for any small application where you don't expect an email to be sent more than 100, you know, this is a good starting point and everything is pretty easy. So, uh, so we should definitely try this. And I click on the start for free. If when you do, you need to create an account. I created an account by using my email ID and then I'm going to log in. So when you do this, you will also have, um, so when you do this, you just create the account, do everything. And I'm not going to create an account here. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to sign in. So when I sign in, it will ask me for the multi-factor authentication MFA which is forced to enable. I'm going to do this quickly. Okay. So I have entered the number. It is, it has taken me to the login page. Now it, this itself is very huge. Okay. We're not going to do a demo on this, uh, features of the send grid. All what we are going to see is how to use the send grid to send an email. So I will walk you through only the steps, which is required for our video, but I'll tell you something. This one has something called uh, dynamic templates and inbuilt templates. You can use all these marketing email templates and you can use the template ID from your .NET code without you, you know, having anything written in the HTML. Everything will be used from the template and will be sent. Okay. So maybe we will see those things in the separate video, but here's the thing. Come to the setting page and click on API keys. Okay. And then click on create API key. When you create an API key, you just need to provide a name for your understanding. Let's say I provide a name called um, only for email. So now this says I don't have any full access. So basically you can you can create an API and you can restrict the API. I mean the, the API key to have only certain features. So if I go to the second option and say, okay, whenever whoever is using this API key can only send email. See, send email, nothing else. I'm not doing anything else, email activities. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to have any permission using such API key. Okay. So you can create however you want, but what I created is I, this is only for demo purpose. So I created the full access key, clicked on create, and then it created. The moment it creates, remember, it will show only one time. You need to copy this key and keep it somewhere safe. Once you are done that, that's it. You can close this. We don't need this anymore, but let me show you something in the dashboard. When I was testing, see, there are four emails sent and it shows out of four, all the four got delivered. So 100% it is success rate. So it's showing up what, what was sent, what was you see unique opens probably when we do a demo we, this number will change we are going to see that now i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to show you how it works in the demo all right i minimized it now we're going to take a look at the demo so this is the website that's running from a local so if i come here and go to the table booking what we're going to do is we're going to trigger two emails if you've already seen this video 
we select the restaurant, we select the branch and then we select a particular date for example tomorrow and then I am trying to book this table because now I have already logged in you know I can quickly book this table okay so I filled up this information I'm going to submit this it's going to trigger a request that will send email to me now the reservation has been booked now what will happen as we speak the mail would have already been triggered so let's take a look here it should have got five requests because I, I just triggered one more request but let's take a look at that all right here is the email that I received if you look at this it clearly says okay confirmation for your restaurant table reservation and then it shows me what restaurant on what date I have booked it's actually for 28 right which is tomorrow today is 27 as we speak so the reservation is booked and then it also shows me a bunch of information what is the address when what type of meal how many guests can come table name everything now all these beautiful informations have been clearly uh, you know formatted and it was sent now we will also take a look at what happens if somebody checks in so in order for me to do a check-in I need to log out and log in as an employee so I'm going to use my different login to em login so I'm going to log in as this email ID this learn smart coding at gmail.com if you've seen my JWT token thing this one has a claim which will show me that I'm a admin so if you look at this my role is admin so I will be able to go and check in someone so let's assume the user has stepped into the restaurant all right so now let's take a look at the second email thing so the customer is going to walk into the restaurant and he walks in and then he talks to someone at the front desk so the front desk they collect the user's information like uh, they know it is uh, it is for today and then what restaurant they have come they know already they all they want to know is what was the email id the moment they put an email id and select the date you see this the check-in will start coming up so now when i click on check-in as an employer at the front desk you know we are telling the user has been checked in and he's and he's ready to dine in and now what we are going to do is we're going to check the email so let's check this email now we got another email all right so you can look at this um, it clearly says what restaurant they have checked in thank you for checking in because they have checked in and then these are the information and we are saying enjoy your meal we look forward to serving you better so this is the different email so we got two different emails right so one is for uh, booking confirmation one is for the check-in confirmation now this is how you use the send grid to send the free email the email notification to the real email okay and this also looks so legitimate if you look at this i have registered with my email id so once i do that who i am send grid is going to send behalf of this email id so when user sees they will see the the website domain name and then they will also see from whom it has been triggered sendgrid.net all right so this is the information that you see here this is all um, you can get the subject properly written see subject is also restaurant check-in confirmation all right so this is how you do now we saw the demo now let's take a look at the code okay code is pretty simple now once you open up this application what i've done is i have to install something called sendgrid package so i install sendgrid this version that is the latest version and this dependency injection actually this is not required but you can install these two packages once you install it i have created a new service and that service is all going to do is going to get some information and send to email okay so i have hooked up this in the controller so for the result so i've hooked up that in the controller under the res restaurant controller so under the restaurant controller if you look at this after the reservation booking is done i am calling this method and sending some information so let's go here what will happen if i expand this all right so now let's go and take a look at the app settings see under app settings i have something called send grid which is a section which has from and send grid api key this key as you see this is the real key this is the key that is used to send by the time you get the by the time you get this code this key will be no more valid so you have to do everything from your side and place your key in order for your email to go all right now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know so now what we are going to do is we are going to get the key and then format few variables the first variable is from which we already know taking it from the configuration two is the 
email id that we are receiving it in the model itself and then we are using also the first name and last name so we use the to and then we create a send grid message object we pass the from and subject and then we also gather some more information by passing the time slot id to one of the repository method once you have this information like what information do i have i am going to get the restaurant name branch table all those things and from where am i getting if you go to repository of this restaurant this is the place i gather this information and that information will be returned here now let's focus on this video so this video is gather all the information that you wanted to format in the email body all what we do is we we send the to and then we format the content content can be of two type one is to html type which will have this images all this colorful stuff and all right that's called html email the plain text email is you don't need any html you can just write in simple english so mail will not look good but that's what it is if for the testing purpose you can do but i'm saying the mail type is html and i'm trying to gather the content of the mail if i expand this and show you what i'm doing if in my previous video one of the video i've showed you how you can use this little string right which is the c sharp 7 feature dot net 7 feature and which is the c sharp 11 version so you can use triple double quote at the starting and ending and you can also use double dollar symbol once you use this any content you can place here it doesn't require it can it is readable it can have many space as it wants so which is looking very beautiful right now because of the double dollar symbol i can use the models coming up here and actually do that evaluation the double brace opening here and closing here will do a evaluation so it will evaluate these answers and then it will put here and this is what you saw in the email nicely as the listed items right the sort of name branch name table name capacity all those things so we send this we format this nicely and then this email is going to be sent how do we send we create an instance of the send grid client which is from the send grid package we pass the api key and we send the email with the object that they are asking with all this information send grid will be able to figure out what email to be formatted and sent and it will be sent once it is sent it you will get a response if you don't get a response like 200 you might get 400 which means when you experience this uh it means there's something in the request is wrong like you know api api returns 400 means it's a bad request always request can be corrected and send it back to the server so you do that and comment in the and place your comment in the comment section what issue you faced and i'll be happy to help you and even if you succeed for the first time let me know i'll be happy to put a like for you all right now let's see we did trigger a couple of emails so we're going to go here and see to the dashboard i'm going to refresh it it should show more than four initially we saw four right so now a couple of times i tested it so let's see what happens maybe it takes some time it's right now it's four probably take some time to propagate here but definitely it's going to be uh, more than that so that's it for this video and i hope you enjoy this video if you've not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel to learn new things and i will keep it short and crispy i will see you in the next video thank you thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below Happy coding.